So here we're going to look at some applications. So applications for regular savings. Again, we have our question here, and, and I, I know it's a little bit tough to see. Maybe we'll go full screen here. Okay, so our friend Jonas here. Okay, Jonas here plans to surprise his wife with a trip to Hawaii in 10 years. He needs $10,000 for the trip. Can Jonas can afford to invest $720 per year. So every year now, for the next 10 years, at the end of the year, he's going to invest $720. He's got a choice. He can either put $60 at the end of each month. So no, 60 times 12, there's a $720 in an account that pays 6.5% compounded monthly. So he's found this probably pretty good mutual fund. And then you can also invest 360 in this first six month period for 6.7 compound assembly annually. Probably another good mutual fund. Calculate if Jonas invests the money in the monthly annuity. Calculate the amount if Jonas invests the money in the semi annually. So we're gonna find First, A, we're going to find the monthly, and then B, we're going to find the semi annual and compare. Let's see if I can write a little bit smaller here and put both on. We'll put, make, put two columns. We'll put one on one side of the page and one on the other. So we're going to go with investment one. So the investment one now pays 6.5 monthly. So I always start with I. So I is 6.5 divided by 100. And you get 0 0.065. Okay, the first one's monthly. So you divide it by 12. So 0 0.065, 0 0.065 divided by 12. And you get this weirdo number. So I'll show you guys. When I divide it by 12, I get 0 0.00541. One six seven. I'll round go that far. Now N. It's, I know it's for ten years, but let's see N. So how many times is he going to be placing it? So he's got ten years, and it's monthly times twelve. So it's ten times twelve is going to have hundred and twenty of these payments. So monthly, and he's going to pay sixty bucks. So R is sixty. Now we're going to put all that into our fancy formula to find A. So A equals, so if you can't see here, A equals R bracket bracket 1 plus I to the N. I'm starting to memorize this all over I. Let's put our R 60 bracket 1 plus. So let's take a look. 0 0.0054167 to the power of N to the power of 120 minus 1 all over 0 0.0054167. Now we'll put our trusty handy dandy calculator over here. Just clear a few things and we're just going to put that into our calculator. So 60 bracket bracket 1 plus 0 0.0054167. Close the bracket to the power over 120 minus 1. Close that bracket divided by 0 0.0054167. So all that's put in the calculator and we'll hit equals. Okay, so in this in this particular uh, one, he's going to have $10,104 and 21 cents so you have over the over the 10,000 for sure when he invests in that one let's look at investment number two so all that was for a part that was investment one it was a now over on this side of the column we're going to do investment two so and we're going to compare the two so now i start off the same way i is 6.7 percent this time so 6.7 divided by 100 so you get 0 0.067, and then divide that by, this one's compounded semi annually, so twice a year. So we divide it by 2. So you get, let me use my calculator here, 0 0.067 divided by 2 equals 0 0.0335. Now our n's the opposite, 
So it's 10 years times 2, so because it's semi-annually, twice a year, 20. And our payment each month, so our payment every single month is 360. Now we're going to put all that into the formula. So A equals R bracket bracket 1 plus I to the N minus 1 all over I. So let's see R 360 bracket 1 plus 0 0.0335 to the power of 20 because that's our N minus 1. Close the bracket all over 0 0.0335. Now we get our trusty little calculator out to find the answer. So we'll put it up here, we'll clear what we had before. So we got 360, bracket, bracket, 1 plus 0 0.0335, close the bracket to the power of 20, minus 1, close the bracket, divided by 0 0.0335 and we get 10025 and 21 cents so i look at these two numbers so this one you get 1 10104 and this you get 10025 and 21 and the endings are the same well look you get a lot more here so i would take option a, or I'll take the first option. So I would take the first investment, the $60, the monthly. So I would choose this one. So choose the higher one. One. Or the higher amount. So select option monthly or the monthly option monthly so we're going to select the monthly option okay why because it's bigger the amount is bigger than the other one after the after it's done the amount's going to be higher than the second one 